Okay, let's talk about how to create embedded links that open in new browser windows. So you'll see here I have a forum post that I created. The subject is a cool tool for collaborative screen sharing. And in the body, you'll see it says Screen Hero, and then in parentheses is the URL, is a cool tool that creates collaborative screen sharing, etc., etc. Now, it's not the worst thing I've ever seen, but having the URL in, the, in that sentence really just kind of junks everything up. Plus, if someone actually wants to go to Screen Hero, they're going to have to copy and paste the URL from this post into a browser window, and it's just much harder on the user than it needs to be. So we're going to go ahead and create a clickable link, a hyperlink, out of the word Screen Hero. Now in order to do that, I need to edit this post, so let me go ahead and edit it. And here we have our post that we're editing. Now in order to create a hyperlink, the first thing you need to do is highlight the word or words that you want to have hyperlinked. Typically the rule of thumb is you want to include the least number of words that represents the thing that you're hyperlinking to. So in our case, the word Screen Hero is plenty. So do Screen Hero, and then we click the thing that looks like a link in a chain. Now whatever program you're using, whether it's Microsoft Word or some other program, there will be some way to create a hyperlink. Very often it looks like a chain link, because why not? It's a link, and that makes it easier for people to recognize. But if you don't see a link, just look around and you'll see some way to do this. All right, we'll click on that, and you'll see there's a few pieces of information that we can fill in. The first is, what is the link's URL? What is the URL, the web address, that the computer should go to when the person clicks on this? Now, usually you can copy and paste this. You don't have to type it, but I'm just going to go ahead and type it. So, http colon slash slash www.screenhero.com. So that's the URL that we're going to be going to. The next field is the target field, and this is where you say to the computer, when it opens, when it goes to ScreenHero.com, where should it put that website? And right now, the target is to open it in this window or this frame. So what that means is that Screen Hero will replace Moodle, because right now what's in this window is Moodle and our forum post, and if we go to ScreenHero.com in this same window, it will replace it. And that's terrible for the users, because that means that now the user has lost the original page that they started from. It means they're going to have to go back arrow, back arrow, back arrow if, to get back where they started from. It's much easier and much nicer for your users and learners if you open the URL in a new window. And all you have to do to do that is click on the little down arrow, and you'll see there's an option, open it in a new window. So now it's going to leave the Moodle tab, and it's going to open this in a new window. Or the way I have my browser set up, it actually opens it in a new tab. And then this next field is something that not all link uh, windows have, but it's a way for you to type in, again, what are the words that are hyperlinked. So I'm going to type in Screen Hero. And what this is used for is people who have limited uh, vision and are using screen readers. This will let the screen reader read the hyperlink. So you might not have an option to do this, but if you do, it's a great thing to do to just make sure that whatever you're creating is as accessible as possible. All right, let's go ahead, and you can't see it, but there's an insert button. And now, boom, just like that, there's our embedded link. So we can go ahead and get rid of this URL, because we don't need it anymore, because now we have an embedded link. I'm going to go ahead and save these changes. And now when we go to our forum post, you'll see there's our Screen Hero is a cool tool. So we can just click on that. And you see that little uh, Screen Hero box that comes up? That's because we, we wrote that in the title. All right, right now we have one browser tab open with our Moodle website. When we click on Screen Hero, boom, it opens it up in a brand new tab. So if we wanted to go back to Moodle, all we have to do is click on that tab. That's all you do to create a hyperlink in a new window.